why is a state test necessary for um, a CNA? Why do you need to take your state test? Um, in certain states, you actually, I don't know if it's just certain states or if it's just everywhere in the United States, you do need to um, be state tested if you're going to work in a nursing home, a long-term care facility. You just need to get state tested, okay? So it doesn't matter if you live on the East Coast, West Coast, up North or down South. As long as you're gonna work in a long-term care facility, you will need to be tested. Um, the same is not true for doctor's offices, hospitals, and some of those standalone ambulatory centers and what have you. Um, however, um, there's a rumor out there that if that's going to change soon. So, um, well, let's just talk about the three reasons, okay? So, um, I have been asked this question so many times. I have been asked by my students, do I need to take my state test? Do I need to take my state test? What do you advise? Uh, my advice is that you go ahead and take it if you can afford it. Um, if you're going to work in a long-term care facility, which is a fancy name for nursing home, you will need it especially in the state that I, I am in, you will need to stay test, okay? Um, if you're not going to, um, then you can take that chance because I don't think they have changed it soon. However, I know in my last class, um, one of my students was telling me he works in a hospital that, oh, no, actually for you to work as a CNA or PCT, that's what they call PCT or PCAs, um, you actually, they're starting to require that you take a state test. So it's not a rumor anymore. It's something that is becoming uh, fast reality. So this is why I tell my students to take the state test. Um, first of all, your pay goes up. Your pay is going to go up. And that's just the way it is. So if you do want to make more money, which is still not enough for the work you're going to be doing, because I keep it real, I, you know, you, you know that I keep it real. It's still not going to be enough. However, um, you getting state tested means that you're not only certified, but you've been tested. Okay, you've been tested, meaning you can do personal care, you can do basic nursing skills, which they are looking for. So it puts you on top of your game, okay? And I do have students in my class who are pre-PA, pre-MD, pre-nursing students, and sometimes this is something they, they're not sure of. And this is what I ask them. Are you going to be working as a CNA? Then why don't you, if you're going to be doing that, why don't you get paid more, <laughs> okay? So basically, hopefully, that will be some kind of incentive to take the state test. Another thing is prestige. I will tell you right now that the, the state-tested nursing assistants, doesn't matter what part of the country you're in, you are top of the top of the ladder. Does that make sense? In the, in the CNA world, you are the one at the top. You are the one that that you know you're seen as <laughs> i don't even know what i was just gonna say you're seen as the nurse of the nursing assistants <laughs> but that's probably just gonna create confusion but what i'm trying to say is you're seen as the professional does that make sense it's it comes with prestige when others are like oh um did you take the state test or did it you know um how is it and how come i'm not paid as much as you well honey <laughs> If you watched the video before this, I don't know if it's before this, <laughs> I said, don't use the word honey. Well, I said don't use the word honey on your patients. But um, yes, honey, I'm state tested. I have been through the fire. I've come out on the other side and now I am gold. Okay, so the prestige is there. The flexibility. Okay, um, again, if you are top of the crop, um that means that you get to pick and choose right yes and they're sending chores that you will not be doing i've actually found that um in some places and i think it's getting really popular where um a state tested cna isn't doing the same chores as just a regular cna or anyone that's even pre-CNA class so hey so that also ties to the prestige right and then 
flexibility because if you're not the one getting water, if you're not the one making the bed, if you're not the one emptying the commode, hey, hello, you're state tested. All you do is you're doing transfer because you've been tasted on, you've been tested on the skills of doing that. You're the one who can ensure that the patient is sitting well and um, they're feeding well because you've been told on how to take care of patients when they're feeding so they don't have aspiration. Don't you see that? So because of that, you have, um, I would say you have more pick and choose, right? Your flexibility, you can pick your own hours. I've seen people do that. And then the demand is there. There's a high demand for tried and tested and graduated um uh, state tested um, uh, nursing assistants. Okay, so the demand is also there. Le okay, let me put it in perspective for you. If you go looking for work, and you're pitted against a CNA, a pre-CNA, and then there's you as the state tester, who do you think they're going to go for? They're going to go for you because you are the closest to skilled nursing. You're the one that the nurses will feel comfortable to delegate and know that you know what you're doing. So there is the pay, there's the prestige, there's the flexibility. If you opt to work in the nursing agency, girl, dude, <laughs> yeah, you're in, you're in high demand. So it's a good place to be. So I tell my nursing students, my pre-PA and pre-MD students um, that if you're going to be working as a CNA, well, yeah, this is where you want to be because then the pay helps, the prestige is there. First of all, you're already going after something beyond um, uh, nursing, I understand that, or beyond CNA, uh, but also you're not just a CNA, right? You're, you're, you're well, well packaged. And then the flexibility is there. You get to pick and choose because you are state tested and there's certain places that you're needed more. You're not just getting water. You're not hospitality. In some places, they call pre-CNA um, hospitality care. And then you're in high demand. So that also um, helps you to, at least because I know CNAs have more than one job. And anywhere you go to, you can pick three hours here. You can pick four, especially when you're a student. So that's why I tell them to take the state test if they can afford it. Okay, if you can, then what's there to lose? So if you got value from today's episode, please hit that notification bell, hit the subscribe button, keep coming back because I always have videos that, you know, uh, treat topics regarding LPNs, RNs, LVNs, and of course, CNA. So um, until the next video, take care and be safe out there.